Welcome to the VivoSense HRV Standard Edition Module Demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate and explain the features of VivoSense HRV software, an additional module used with the VivoSense core software to analyze heart rate variability. Heart rate variability analysis allows for a non-invasive study of mental and physical health states that influence the autonomic nervous system, ANS by observing the effect that the ANS has on the beat-to-beat -beat heart rhythm. These irregular moment-to-moment -moment variations in heart rate provide a wealth of information about the underlying autonomic function and balance. Heart rate variability is thus a way to quantify and summarize these naturally occurring beat-to-beat -beat changes in the heart rate. In a healthy individual, the heart rate estimated at any given time represents the net effect of the sympathetic nerves, which accelerate heart rate, and the parasympathetic nerves which slow it. These changes are influenced by environment, pathology, emotions, thoughts and physical exercise. Changes in mental, emotional or health state result in changes to the ANS, which in turn result in changes to the beat-to-beat -beat heart rate rhythm. A common goal of HRV analysis is to investigate a subject's affective or health state via the ANS by making inferences from a beat-to-beat -beat time series of the heart rate pattern. Measurements of HRV have been used to investigate autonomic function in various affective disorders and aberrant patterns of autonomic regulation. HRV may be used to further investigate changes to the ANS associated with hypertension, congestive heart failure, heart transplantation, chronic mitral regurgitation, mitral valve prolapse, sudden death or cardiac arrest, ventricular arrhythmias, supraventricular arrhythmias, and panic disorders. There are many ways to quantify the beat-to-beat -beat variability of an ECG, i.e. the degree of heart rate variability. This has led to a multitude of indices proposed by researchers over the past three decades. In order to standardize these measurements, the European Society of Cardiology and the North American Society of Pacing and Electrophysiology propose a set of standards for calculating HRV. The VivoSense HRV Standard Edition module adheres to these standards. These standard indices may be divided into those calculated in time or frequency domains. Changes in the heart's beat-to-beat -beat variability result in differences in energy at different frequencies. In mathematical terms, this may be captured as a power spectrum of the R to R time series. Thus, a large variation in the timing between adjacent R waves will result in more power or energy at higher frequencies, while a smaller variation will result in larger power or energy contained at lower frequencies. The HRV power spectrum is divided into three main frequency ranges. The very low frequency range, VLF, represents the longer term, slower changes in heart rate. This index is best used in longer term recordings. The power in the higher frequency range, HF, represents more rapid fluctuations in heart rate and is primarily influenced by parasympathetic activity. The lower frequency band, LF, is located between the very low frequency and high frequency bands and reflects a mixture of sympathetic and parasympathetic activity although it is frequently used to index sympathetic modulation. Several other commonly used HRV indices are based on statistics of the beat-to-beat -beat variability. These are known as time domain indices. Like frequency domain indices, these may be used to quantify the balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic activity. A natural cycle of heart rate variation exists that occurs through the influence of breathing on the flow of sympathetic and vagus impulses to the sinoatrial node. This cycle is termed respiratory sinus arrhythmia, RSA. The rhythm of the heart is primarily under the control of the vagus nerve, which inhibits heart rate and the force of contraction. When we inhale, the vagus nerve activity is impeded and heart rate begins to increase. When we exhale, this pattern is reversed. The heart rate accelerates during inspiration and decelerates during expiration. This alternating pattern of acceleration and deceleration corresponds to high frequency changes in the R to R series and thus many researchers use the high frequency power as an index of RSA and hence parasympathetic 
activity or vagal tone. Therefore, if respiration were simultaneously measured with ECG, it is possible to provide an accurate individual-specific quantification of the actual RSA. This feature is offered in VivoSense. To understand HRV respiratory channels better, let's open VivoSense and have a look at a file. Here we have open a file with heart rate and flow volume overlaid on top of each other. Let's add the heart rate variability respiratory channel measure RSA breath to the synchronized chart panel here. We can see that when the heart rate and flow volume are synchronized that the RSA values are low and when they are out of sync the RSA values are higher.